And just like that, we're up to 50 miles an hour. On paper, this should only go 49, only 49 miles an hour between my two front hub motors. I was able to break that speed by a pretty significant margin. I'm gonna tell you how. But first, let me give you a little shop tour. We're opening our new retail store in a new location. And as you can see, it's in a shopping center in downtown Grass Valley, which is definitely different from our current warehouse spot, but gonna be great for local traffic. So stepping inside here, it's full of lots of boxes and it's really empty at the moment, but that's gonna be our checkout area. That's not the actual counter, but there will be one there. We'll have bike racks along the wall. We'll have helmets and locks right in the middle here. We're gonna have a bunch of e-bikes on display. I'm hoping I can fill this big wall all the way up to the ceiling with just bike stuff everywhere. This wall in the back is kind of a work in progress. This is gonna be our workstation repair station. So we're gonna have one of our guys back here. We have our lift being installed right here for working on bikes. Another guy will be sitting over here. And back here, of course, our work benches with all of our tools to work on any sort of electric bike we wanna work on. So I'm really pleased with how this is turning out so far. I can't wait to see it all finished. It's, it's definitely coming together though. Moving into the back, this is basically our warehouse storage area. So we've got bikes that are in boxes. That way if a customer comes in and they want a different color or size or something that's not on the floor, we can just run back here, grab one out of a box, set it up in 30 minutes or so. They can have one of these bikes. We're gonna have, of course, storage of all of our parts and pieces and things that we ship out all over the world. So that's it. I'll have more updates on this soon as everything comes together. We're trying to get in here as quickly as possible, possibly some sort of grand opening in November. Stay tuned for that. But I had to run up here. I didn't have a car at home, so I decided, you know what? Why don't I take this thing on its first real road trip out on the road, see what it can actually do, what's it like to actually use on a commute. And I gotta tell you, it was awesome. Of course, I'm using a motorcycle helmet for safety because this thing is fast. And I was able to achieve my goal of braking 50 miles an hour. Now, Grin's calculator for their motors says that if I'm using two of these on 72 volts with a 20 inch wheel, in theory, it would go 49 miles an hour and it does do just that. Their calculator, however, doesn't account for flux weakening. And I had a little bit of trouble with the settings getting that to work, got that resolved. It's possible there might be a little more speed left in this, but on flat ground with, I don't know, maybe like an 80% charge or so, I was able to hit 53 miles an hour. I was fully charged for the run here, but I wasn't doing like a top speed run. I was just kind of seeing how it went down the road. Uh, at one point I was going kind of this up and down section, definitely wasn't downhill overall. And I hit like 54, I might've touched 55 miles an hour at some point. So this thing is fast. I borrowed a couple of triangle bags to just kind of strap on the back here for some tools and things that I was bringing with me. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. My commute on the way here was insanely fast. It is just as fast as a car. It is just as fast as a motorcycle. So normally it's possible to do a commute that's faster by bike if you're in city, city traffic, but that's not the case for me. I'm on rural back roads, you know, 55 mile an hour speed limits, but windy. And not only was I able to keep up with traffic, I was waiting for cars ahead of me to turn off or go faster. The limitation on this is not power. It is definitely handling. Round turns, slowing down is basically it. On some of the really steep uphills, it's slowed down to about 40 miles an hour, which is just crazy to do 40 uphill. I'm super pleased with how these motors turned out. These are the Grin all axle motors. It's the only one that I'm aware of that can be mounted on a single-sided hub. They can do that in the front or the rear now. The only thing that would make this more insane is if I put another third one of these motors on the back. I'm not gonna do that, it just, it just doesn't need it. I certainly am tempted, however, to do this same kind of setup on a two-wheeled bike 
all wheel drive, one front and rear. So quiet, so smooth. Now I still have some work to do on this thing. It's not really back to Velo Mobile status yet. There's no body on it, which aerodynamics is going to increase the speed further. I was initially shooting for 50 miles an hour with the body on it. Now that I'm hitting much higher than that without it, I think I might have to up my top speed goal once the body is on this thing to maybe 60 miles an hour. That's just gonna be crazy, but we'll see what happens. For now, I'm having a ton of fun with it. The weather's nice, I don't need the body, but it's time to go home, let's hit the road. I am wearing clipless shoes with SPD pedals. That way my feet don't fall off. Definitely safer. Highly recommended on a recumbent trike. have the differential throttle set up so my middle finger controls the right motor my index finger controls the left motor so if I'm taking this turn I can just use the left the only time it gets a little scary is if you are trying to let off the throttles and you don't let off both at the same time you'll get a little wiggle to one side Other than that, that's one of the best things I've done. All right, we got open road ahead of us now. Let's go. And just like that, we're up to 50 miles an hour. downhill is a little scary because if you get too heavy on the brakes the rear tire can actually lift off the ground 
and then you basically have no control because only your front wheels are on the ground. So I'm going to try and be a little more careful going down the hill. bumps right here. It does get a little unsettled when you have bumps. Alright, lots of traffic behind me. Alright, sharp turn. Slow way down. does not have the lowest center of gravity. If I was to build one from scratch, that'd definitely be a change I would make. All right, send it down the hill. can I say? It's a monster. It's a ton of fun. And I'm not done yet. Subscribe if you want to see more. Ooh, I was at 100% charge when I left. 75% on battery one. And yeah, exactly 75% on battery two. So I just did a basically full throttle round trip and only use a quarter of the battery.